Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for October 15th, 2024. This would have been my mother's 71st birthday. The waxing gibbous moody moon in passionate Aries with a relationship focused Venus in intense Scorpio trying the planet of illusion Neptune in dreamy Pisces. Compassion is the most basic form of love. Expressing it for others can bridge gaps. Let it be an energy infusion into something amazing. Your Elder Futhark Daily Rune for October 15th, 2024 is Ansus. Ansus, the letter A, meaning God, chieftain, reference to Odin. Associations, mind, voice within, signals, inspiration, true vision, self-knowledge, Today, your focus is on your connection to source consciousness. You might be noticing synchronicities or signals from the universe that you are on the right path. Your daily romance angel oracle card for October 15th, 2024 is retreat. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. The romance angels see that your love life blossoms as you spend time alone with your partner or by yourself. It appears that you've become confused or conflicted by other people's advice. It's a time for you to disconnect so that you can better hear your own feelings and opinions. If you are in a partnership, spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level. This could mean taking a vacation, going on a nature hike, enjoying a long drive, or turning off the phones and computer as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home. The painting in this card indicates a honeymoon, which could be the literal message. So there may be a deepening of commitment or a new serious relationship if you're currently single. This card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding, renewal of vows. These activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner. If you're presently single, this card guides you to spend time by yourself, meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy which helps you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. Your Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for October 15th, 2024 is Gift Revealed. Card 44, Gift Revealed. Surprise! Surprise someone today. Fairies love good surprises. However... When they are faced with a surprise that isn't quite what they've asked for, they pout. Pouting soon turns into a smile and laughter as they realize everything comes with its own gift. They always look until they find the gift. If life gives you something that you aren't completely thrilled with, keep an open mind. Often the best things come disguised. Look below the surface and see what a person or situation holds for you. Do not be quick to judge new people. Not everything is revealed on the spot. Connect with the person and understand where they are coming from. Their experience is different from yours. So take the time to see what makes them tick and what they have to offer. They are just as important as you are. Do the same with situations. Understand that what appears to be the case may not be the truth at all. Remember that solutions can come 
in the strangest of ways if you allow them to do so. Always ask that spirit create the perfect solution for you. Find the gift in all things. Your chant, O oh, spirit of the night that hides the late of day, I call upon your wisdom to help me on my way. To look below the surface and see what lies within, I cast about some fairy dust to sprinkle at my whim. I judge not that what I see, but look and let it be. For I do know within my grasp a gift is there for me. So be it. Your daily Starseed Oracle card for October 15th, 2024 is Big Picture Thinking. Big Picture Thinking. Pleiades Energy. Visionary. Inspired Ideas. The Palladians are our cosmic cousins. They are here to remind us that it is never too late to start new things, to learn new things, or to change the future. You're being called to be a visionary for this planet. Take a breath and shake off what you've been told about the world and hold a new vision for humanity. You're likely a natural big picture thinker here to generate ideas for the future, here to birth a new age and dream it into being. The future will be woven by dream makers like you, by those with enough courage to question the way things have been and envision new possibilities for the planet. The world needs more artists, dreamers, inventors, and visionary thinkers. Perhaps you've had an idea recently that you're being called to usher in. If so, this card is your confirmation that it is divinely guided. The Palladians support us in this important stage in Earth's development. They want us to know that the decisions we make today will affect the well-being of our planet and all of its species. They are calling you to be the leader of the future, to hold a clear vision of what's possible, to trust that vision and follow through with daily action, to dream a new world into being, to hold your mind open and try not to worry about what others think, for it takes great courage to pave a new path to trust a vision before its reality. Starseed Soul Inquiry, how are you being called to step up and lead? What new ideas or creations are you being called to pursue? Your daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for October 15th, 2024 is Achievement. Card 49. Achievement, effort plus intention. The priestess of the white buffalo stands shoulder to shoulder with the mighty beast, bringing a message about the direction of your life. She reveals that you will achieve success by allowing your conscious intentions with the drive and energy that you focus on your goals. Some people have clear, specific intentions, yet their efforts fall short due to confusion misdirection, or even just laziness. Others put a lot of effort into their lives, but their intentions are unclear or even full of doubt. The message here is to bring the two together in a lucid and logical way. Understand your true intentions and take responsibility for the effort you put into them every day. Buffalo are methodical in their movement and they have humps on their shoulders, symbolic of the ability to carry heavy loads. This represents the systematic energy needed when attempting to bring your intentions to fruition. Abundant success is assured when you apply planned and patient effort to the intentions that truly resonate with your heart. 
Since the white buffalo is so sacred and rare, this card brings a special message. It's time to raise your intentions and to take the effort to a higher level. Bring prayer to your path and you will ignite the unlimited abundance that this beautiful creature signifies. Your affirmation? I create clear intentions and put patient effort into my goals. I bring sacred prayers to my personal pursuits every day. Your daily energy reading for October 15th, 2024 is the astrology is saying that my mama always said, look for the compromise. On Sue's says, God is stepping in here. The romance oracle reminds you that sometimes isolation is necessary to uh, hear us or puzzle through what comes next. The fairies say, God wants to show you why something didn't work out the way you wanted. The star seed oracle reminds you to be the leader in the room. The priestess of light oracle asks that you get clear on what you're trying to achieve so you can focus on that. Okay, so there might be some um, bad actors what I'm going to say. Like, you might have people from your past. I'm just quite curious because this is after Pluto goes direct. So I guess this is just when it's picking up momentum because that happens on the 11th. Um, so you're about to see why something, with maybe probably within a group, uh, didn't work out. Like sort of like because Jupiter went retrograde too. So it's sort of like finding out why it's better to be good than lucky. There's some middle ground needed to be found here. And you might need to take this problem away from maybe a whole big group and just puzzle on it yourself. You might need to go into retreat with just God. Maybe you need to go into retreat with somebody else. Maybe God is just going like, listen, the compromise needs to be found here. And this group of people can't find it because they haven't isolated themselves. They haven't done. They haven't cleared themselves the way you have cleared yourself. Or maybe one person in the room has cleared themselves. I mean, you're going to have to apply it to your life where it is. But somebody in the room is the leader. Whoever that is. Creator is asking that leader to independently of people's emotions, like communicate with them to figure out what puzzle piece is supposed to come next so everybody has a clear objective to focus on. Because we're, nobody's comp, and there's no compromise, nobody's focused on the same thing. And that just doesn't ever work in a group. Everybody's got to, I mean, everybody brings different things to the table, but there has to be a shared objective. Otherwise, there's just chaos. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Creator is saying, well, enough with that. This is why this wouldn't have worked. Maybe you were putting your faith in the wrong person. Um, personally, I, I prefer to keep my faith in the Trinity there and keep it away from anything in the flesh. I'm not saying that uh, I think all people are trying to hurt me or something. Because that's not true. Not, not in the least. I let people earn that distrust. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to put your faith in the ways of man, you're going to frequently find out why something didn't work. 